hospitals. They're not a place most of us would choose to visit, but during our life, it's inevitable that most of us will. And when we leave, we expect to feel a lot better. However, it seems that's not always the case. Jean-Pierre is a prime example. He went into hospital for bypass surgery. The operation was a great success, but only a few days later, he received an emergency call. Suddenly, at the clinic, the doctor in charge of our room uh, said, I'm sorry, Mr. Marchand, but uh, we have to take you back to the hospital because in analyzing uh, your blood, we realize that you have MIC. MRSA is a bacterium that causes infections, and Jean-Pierre had picked it up while in hospital. It's caused by a strain of the Staphylococcus bacterium. Luckily, most strains of the bacterium are harmless, but MRSA can cause skin infections, attack the muscles, and can even be fatal, especially in patients with a weakened immune system, which is common after an operation. The resistance of MRSA is the scourge of modern-day hospitals, where outbreaks are on the rise. Fighting the bacterium which causes the infection is a real problem. In France, uh, uh, more than 5% uh, of uh, hospitalized patients will have a nosocomial infection uh, with bacteria. And uh, uh, the, the, the majority of uh, these bacteria are resistant to antibiotics. And then now uh, it is more and more difficult to treat uh, with uh, the uh, antibiotic we have. The biggest issue about MRSA is that it's uh, difficult to treat back because it's multi-resistant. So many antibiotics that we commonly use are not uh, uh, any more useful to treat uh, MRSA infection. Normally, when bacteria are treated with antibiotics, they die. But occasionally, a few bacteria may mutate, developing genes which become resistant to the antibiotics. Then, if these bacteria pass on their mutated genes to their offspring, they too will be resistant against treatment, and again they may mutate. This continuous chain of mutations means that the bugs are always one step ahead of the doctors who are trying to kill them, and can eventually become immune to a whole range of antibiotics, making the bacteria multi-resistant. We passed the golden age of antibiotics uh, as far as we can see because there are no real new antibiotics in development or very few so we cannot count on new antibiotics being developed to control resistance so we have just to use our brains to control it in an effort to beat the bacteria scientists are pooling their brain power Many medical teams form the MOSAR research project, working in nine European countries. The aim is to identify which bacteria are dangerous and how to eliminate them. So uh, I think we can control resistance. It needs a lot of efforts. And it needs uh, uh, quite a bit of understanding of how these bacteria spread and transmit and stay around in the uh, hospitals and then cause infection. So this is the whole objective of MOSA, which is a truly integrated project that is looking at all the aspects of why which specific clones of bacteria are disseminating in the hospital and why is that. One theory on the spread of MRSA bacteria focuses on the contact between people, the sort of bacteria they carry, and the antibiotics they take. To understand this better, scientists have been diligently monitoring the contact between staff and patients in a hospital for six months, as well as touch points, such as door handles, where patients can leave bacteria. This unique study will help hunt down bacteria which are resistant to antibiotics, eventually making it possible to kill them before they become more powerful, mutating into multi-resistant strains. 
In Germany, scientists are also on the hunt for a technique to find antibiotic-resistant bacteria. They're turning to technology to decipher the bacterium's genes to see if it's a potential killer. We want uh, to analyze the activity of the bacteria. Do they make the bacterium dangerous or not? And uh, then you get uh, a pattern for, of activity, uh, which you could uh, essentially call a passport photo. And uh, this allows you to recognize if this bacterium is classified in the dangerous group or in the not so dangerous group. It's critical to recognize the dangerous bacteria as soon as possible, and a PhotoFit database will help. To make it reality that we, uh, are re we really have a technology which is working in maximum of uh, six hours and one person can handle these many samples and that we uh, really have many labs using it so that our library of these passport pictures of these microarray results is growing that we better and better understand what these uh, bacteria are doing and that also other people can learn it. However, the battle against bacteria isn't all about technology. The Mozart scientists are keen to promote a bit of common sense. Perhaps the most effective way to reduce the spread of the MRSA infection within hospital patients is good hygiene practice. At the hospital in Geneva, scientists are investigating just how important this is. The most essential element of standard precautions is hand hygiene. So, unfortunately, uh, the compliance with hand hygiene is rather low in many hospitals around the world, and um, good hand hygiene is probably one of the best ways to prevent transmission of MRSA. As simple as it may sound, good hygiene should help prevent people like Jean-Pierre from contracting the MRSA infection. Jean-Pierre is lucky. He recovered quickly. But many tens of thousands of patients don't. With help from the European Mozart team, that number should be drastically reduced.